Because of its geographical isolation, Australia's quarantine laws help prevent the spread of disease in plants and animals. If these diseases were to enter Australia, it would cause huge financial losses to farmers and businesses. Discuss the role of quarantine in preventing the spread of disease, plants and animals into Australia. Classical swine fever is a highly contagious viral disease spread only among pigs. Previously, outbreaks have occurred in Australia in the early 1900s. During 1942 to 1943, classical swine fever was caused by virulent strains being found in imported pig meat and food leftovers from ships being swill fed to pigs. In 1960 to 1961, there were milder illnesses and increased mortalities in pigs, which were associated with bacterial infections in poorly run piggeries. An epidemic would have an estimated cost of $13 billion in 2007. The spread of classical swine fever would cause a loss of agricultural export markets and national income, shortages of some animal products during and following an outbreak, large-scale animal health and welfare issues, which may be ongoing and have devastating financial and emotional effects on rural communities with flow-on effects to other industries and the economy generally. The disease has been prevented in Australia due to the use of public health campaigns warning pig owners not to feed their pigs swill. Also, they are told what the symptoms are and what to do in order to control the virus. The DAFF asks that people do not bring animal produce into Australia without first declaring them to customs officers. Initially, the best way to control the disease in Australia was to set up quarantines and implement movement bans. Classical swine fever can be spread over long distances by animal transportation and other forms of dissemination. Farms within a 500 metre radius of an infected farm will have a particularly high risk of infection. The culling of all pigs in an area may be practised. Simulation modelling demonstrated that the aerial shooting of feral pigs would rapidly cause the disease to be eradicated within one to two months of introduction. Other methods include the aerial delivery of oral vaccines, which reduce the prevalence of infections. They would be tracing of both pigs and pig products, followed by the elimination of infections from premises and the recall of pig meat, gay meat and offal from infected populations. While Australia has been free of classical swine fever for 50 years, periodic serologic sampling, which is the study of bodily fluids, is necessary to monitor for the potential reintroduction of disease. Black cicatoda is a fungal disease which destroys banana leaves and can seriously reduce crop yield. In particular, black cicatoda affects Cavendish bananas, ladyfingers and several other dessert bananas. An outbreak of disease would greatly affect Australia's agricultural sector with potential production losses, control costs and quality loss. There are indirect consequences such as eradication costs, effects on domestic and international trade and impacts on the environment and communities. Genetic engineering has enabled farmers to produce resistant banana plants such as these which were used in the Balmaga region of northern Queensland after an outbreak in 1984 failed to be controlled. Black cicatoda was first detected here during a 1981 disease survey. Initial attempts at eradication involved the destruction of all banana plants. After a period of six months, healthy plants were replanted in order to avoid reinfection from any spores discharged from the banana rubbish. However, it was detected again in 1984. A quarantine was put in place, preventing the movement of diseased plants around Australia. The Queensland Banana Industry Protection Board replaced all the bananas in the area with more resistant cultivars such as these. In 2001, black cicatoda was found in the Tully region. An alternative strategy needed to be used as this region received much more rainfall. Here, farmers relied heavily on deleafing of all banana plants to achieve a zero disease level in the region. Clauses in the Plant Diseases Act prohibited interstate movement of bananas. Also, molecular diagnosis was a useful tool used to identify black cicatoga and was one of the many factors contributing to the success of its removal. With an improvement in technology, 
and the government's reluctance to import bananas, Australia has been able to be free of black sicker toka since 2004.